Pro Group Management, workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good morning, everyone. I'm James Schaefer filling in for Renee's Summer Hour. We start with your top stories brought to you by Nevada Hand Silver Sky, assisted living community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A Faith Lutheran High School student died in a motorcycle crash just one week before graduation. A crowd of more than 200 people gathered at a northwest Las Vegas community park to honor the memory of 17-year-old Donovan Propst with a candlelight vigil. Props lost control of his motorcycle near Grand Montecito Parkway in Deer Springs Way. Hours after his death, the principal of Faith Lutheran emailed the school's community to inform them of what had happened. Friends and family described the senior as a happy kid who was always smiling. He, he always made sure that I had a smile on my face, whether I was sad, whether I was mad, <laughs> tired or hurt. Two men were shot and injured near the strip in Spring Mountain Road on Saturday night, and police are still looking for the shooter. The photos show the man wearing white sneakers, black shorts, and a teal shirt. And one photo appears to show the man running west on the north side of Spring Mountain Road near the bus stop in front of the Neiman Marcus store at Fashion Show Mall. A Prump jury sentenced a man to life in prison for his role in torturing and killing a 27-year-old Las Vegas man nearly two years ago. 39-year-old Brad Main was found guilty of first-degree murder with a deadly weapon and kidnapping with a deadly weapon in the killing of Roy Jaggers. His body was found on August 1, 2021 at the bottom of Cathedral Canyon. For more details, log on to lvrj.com backslash crime. A study on contract bidding in CCSD found that the district has taken steps to promote equity, but disparities remain for minority-owned and women-owned businesses. The study involved Southern Nevada businesses and looked at thousands of district contracts and subcontracts from fiscal years 2017 to 2021. About 20 percent of the district's contract dollars went to minority and women-owned businesses. If there was a level playing field, 27 percent of the district dollars would have gone to those businesses. The Dude Perfect team set a record for the world's highest basketball shot from 854 feet high off the Strat's 108th floor sky jump platform. The record-breaking shot was caught on video and landed April 20th, taking more than 900 attempts in three days. The team shattered the existing record by almost 200 feet. In business sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability, this morning we're featuring what was once a sleepy Henderson Street that's looking very much awake right now. Review Journal's Jen Ah reports on the budding growth of Water Street. It's amazing what four years can do. Since 2019, downtown Henderson has built a new arena and city hall plaza with a plethora of new local businesses moving in. And we're kind of at the tip of the iceberg. Everybody's thinking like, wow, look how it's changing. But give it another five to ten years and you're not even going to recognize it. In the Water Street District sits a cozy bake shop with handmade Danish sweets, a new Mexican restaurant, brewery and more. Thanks to the Lifeguard Arena, which opened in 2020, bringing minor league hockey practices and Vegas Golden Knight watch parties along with it. Directly across the street is 25 homes by Lennar for sale, uh, townhomes and 150 unit apartment building with uh, mixed use and retail down the street and called the Watermark. Those will be the next newest things and a new steakhouse, I understand, coming down the street and a lot of exciting stuff. To learn more about these local shops along Water Street, go to LVRJ.com. Now for your weather report brought to you by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every blooming thing. We are looking at a slight chance of isolated thunderstorms today, most likely coming in between 1 and 4 p.m. After that, it's sunny skies with high in the 90s, low in the 70s. Looking ahead to the start of your week, breezy conditions will be bringing in gusts as high as 30 miles per hour starting Tuesday and going into Wednesday. Partly cloudy conditions for the rest of your week, highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s. Watch out for thunder showers and have a great start to your week. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app today. The Golden Knights hosted Game 2 against the Dallas Stars Sunday at T-Mobile Arena, earning a 3-2 overtime victory. That's right, two games in the Western Conference Final, two overtime victories. And just like Friday's Game 1, the Knights were able to end the overtime period early as Chandler Stevenson scored in just over 70 seconds. The Knights and Stars will play Game 3 on Tuesday in Dallas. Inner Health News sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. Just how much screen time is too much 
for your kids. I've always told parents to try to monitor their children's online content, to try to limit it, to make sure that it's not affecting their sleep or their schoolwork or their mood. It's recommended parents check in with their kids and try to find out what they're doing online. Excessive use of social media can be related to how it affects your child. Anything that is affecting your child's sleep, anything that's affecting their mood, anything that is affecting their academic performance would be considered excessive use. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Lakers and Nuggets face off in Game 4 tonight as LeBron James and company look to avoid a sweep in the Western Conference Finals. The Lakers are 3.5 point favorites and minus 165 on the money line at Station Casinos. The Nuggets are plus 145 on the money line. The over is set to 225. In entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. Some refer to them as a revolutionary variation of baseball, but they just go by the Savannah Bananas. The high energy entertainment base team played the Las Vegas ballpark Friday. According to the team's owner, tickets are not easy to come by for the games. Folks from the West Coast came to Vegas. One fan at Friday's game telling the RJ he came all the way from Melbourne, Australia just to watch them play. Friday's entertainment included a baby race, a shirtless push-up contest, and a stadium-wide dance party. Tens of thousands of tourists and locals flocked into the Las Vegas Motor Speedway this weekend to vibe at the world's biggest electronic dance music festival. The Electronic Daisy Carnival featured popular DJ sets, a pixel forest, installation art pieces, and even a place to tie the knot. More than 150 EDC weddings occurred throughout the weekend. For more EDC news, log on to lvrj.com backslash entertainment. Thank you for watching 7 to 7 a.m. I'm James Schaefer. If you have an Amazon Fire TV, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas breaking news streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here later today for 7 to 7 p.m. From the Las Vegas Review Journal, have a great day. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.